Hello everyone, Alavitar here. So today in this video, I'm going to guide you through how I have been able to create like a double click event on the home button using the Power App of course. So if we uh, if we look at that uh, my, my current screen, I have uh, a text editor and then this uh, kind of button that uh, is implementing the the double click event. So let's uh, just run the, the application. So uh, I have my website if but if I double click on it I have this nice uh, little message that says that I double click on the on my button and uh, now my uh, text box is in edit mode so uh, to go and I can I can save it and then it goes back to the disable event and my my button is then appearing again so let's go a bit behind the scene and see how I've been uh, doing this so uh, I have a component that is uh, made up of a timer and a button. Uh, my component has two, uh, two custom properties. The first property is an input property. Uh, I'm just using it to, to set the, the label of the, um, of the button. And then I have another uh, property that is an output property for double click that is binded to a variable underscore double, double click. And uh, this means that whatever the value of this var variable in my uh, other screens, I can read the, the, this variable and know if uh, actually the component is, has been double clicked or, or not. If we look into it, uh, on, on, on the, the trick is, uh, is a bit in the button and a lot in the, in the timer, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, on the unclick event, uh, on the unclick event, on select event of my button, I am setting this this variable button button click to the opposite. So if it's true, it, it, it will go to false, and if it's false, it will go to to true. Uh, and then I have uh, this this if statement stating that if not button click and started. I'm displaying the, um, the, noti the notification to say that the, the component has been double clicked, and then I'm setting the double click variable to to true. If we, if you look at it, uh, there's something missing. Where this uh, the started uh, variable variable uh, is set. The second trick is with the timer. First, if we go to the start to the start uh, timer, so start is binded to the button click uh, variable. This means that whenever the underscore dkm clicked variable is set to true, the timer will start. Then if we go to the on timer start, this is where I am setting a underscore started variable to, to true. So whenever the button, button clicked variable is set to true the timer triggers and when the timer triggers I'm set setting the this uh, underscore started variable to true now another trick is on the on timer end on the timer end means that the uh, the, tur the the duration of the timer has ended when it reached to to an end I'm setting the started variable to false and the button click also to, to false. So this means if we think a bit uh, about it, when I'm clicking on the button, I'm setting the button click uh, variable to, to its opposite, and then I'm checking if uh, this the started uh, variable is still true because, as we recall. The button clicked, the underscore button click is set to true, the, the, the timer triggers, the on start, the on timer start event triggers, so the started value variable is, is true, and meaning that if I click again before the duration of the timer, before hitting this on timer end that is setting my started variable to, to false, it means that I have been double clicking. Basically, this is uh, this is it. this is the trick. 
and uh, if you want to play uh, to play a bit with it, the time the, the time lapse that you have for actually doing the, the double click is basically the um, the duration of the time. So here for for just the demo purpose, I set it to to two thousand, meaning that it's uh, for, for for two seconds. So if I am quick enough to click twice on the button within those two uh, two seconds. Um, I, I raise a double click event, so you can you can try it uh, with uh, reducing the the, the the duration amount. Uh, of course, uh, it's and, yeah, uh, it's better also the, uh, to component in the, timer. the screen. So, uh, so the component the, uh, the uh, button label input property is set to uh, double click to, to edit. Um, the rich text box. The display mode is binded to the double click event. See if it's uh, in double click, uh, it's, it is in edit mode. If not, it is in the disabled mode. The icon uh, here, its visibility is binded to the double click. So if we double click uh, the display, the, the visible is true. If not, uh, it's false. And the, the, the last trick that I wanted to show you is the when I hit the uh, the button i'm resetting my uh, my component and in the uh, um, on reset event of my component i'm setting the uh, double click variable to false so uh, the double click variable goes to, to false it is like in the, the first state of the, the component i neither click or, or double click and that's it hope you like the video guys uh, and the uh, double click event in Power Apps, of course, it is Power Apps uh, Please feel free to, uh, to give me uh, any comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.